about Phantom Hits. So Phantom Hits, part of the reason people get so frustrated by them is because they send you that visceral like feedback loop of like, a, oh, I got, like you hear the sound effect. Yeah. You see the, the hit lag and yeah. everything. You're like, oh, yes. You got the hit. And then you don't, and you, your brain feels so cheated. Cheated. You feel you cheated. Get, you get like cognitive dissonance almost. Yeah. It's the only way for you to feel <laughs> okay about it is to treat it instead as a I got miss. Damaged. Yeah. And the game was a game. The game gave you something, some damage. But you'd, uh, you'd honestly, you'd rather not hit it at, at that, that point. point. Yeah. Don't give it to me. No, I know. Don't, don't remind I, I me. I feel like that's how most people feel. That's how it feels for me. Yeah. I know. I know. I'm wrong, right? E dude, even when like Brawl introduced what were they called? Glancing blows. All they did. What is that? Well, it was it was what? basically the Phantom Hit situation. Yeah. There was it only had one effect. Tiny little sparks. Ah. Popped off the person. Just oh. these little sparks, like, off of them from your hitbox. But no damage. No damage, no knockback. And you know what? It just made me mad. Huh. I didn't go, oh, I was so close. Yeah, I just thought. Him, yeah. yeah, that's weird. I hate this. Yeah. <laughs> Don't tell me that. Yeah, yeah. I didn't, I didn't want to know. It's like when you find out your, like, middle school, like, the, your, the girl you had a crush on all through middle school, and you find out years later, she like, it's like, I don't even want to know at this point, all right? Don't tell me. I don't want to know. I don't care. No, if she really thought you were cute. It's like, dude, I, I really, I don't want to know. The, how about this? How about this? You walk over there, you come back, you start this conversation over and go, yeah, dude, you never had a chance. You never. were right not to ask That's her out. That's right. Good move. Good move. Good move. Yeah. You saved yourself a lot of heartache. A, not, lot, of, a lot of embarrassment. Not, not, you could... Dude, you'd my be life married by now. I'm saying, man, that's my life. In a she was so right. into you. Oh my god! Your bowl cut, your thick frames. Any, uh, let me get a Bible thumb in the chat for anyone who feels the same way. All right, Albert. Press one if you had a bowl cut. Albert the Legend. We got ones in <laughs> chat. Albert the Legend who beat Hungry <laughs> Box versus Lucky <laughs> for top eight winners. I'm assuming winners quarters. Uh, yeah, winners this quarters for top eight winners. Yep. This so is Albert wins this. He's a god. Lucky wins this. I, you know, he got a lucky bracket. No pun intended. Oh, that was sick. You see that downer downer? Yeah. I, Albert right, Albert's is, dope. Albert's he's, dope. He's filthy. What like, is he ranked in Texas? Do you know? Nothing. He's not ranked. He's, like, inactive? Yeah. His parents don't let him play during the school year. How old is he? Or they didn't. I don't know how old he is uh, now. Don't do that. I don't, but they didn't. They were like, no, you can't play during school. Well, good thing we're on summer break, I guess. Yeah. And then okay. it, he, he practices on his own. Uh, and he practices with like some of the other people in like Arlington and Irving. Yeah. And then every now and then, he just shows up. Yeah, he showed and up. Reminds showed up you today. How broken Falco he is. Oh. <laughs> because he's like he he abuses Falco hard. I can see it. Like it's it's hard to do what he does because he's like like I play friendlies with him and there are certain situations where you just go, why did your move win? And he goes, because that's what Falco's move does. Yeah. Not my Falco. Yeah, it doesn't. Somehow it never works out when you do it. Yeah, and right now right, he's, he's showing, up. He's showing Lucky. Uh, he's he's got plenty of Fox practice. Yeah, he's played. Yeah, like he's played Mojo plenty of times in his life. Albert. Yeah, makes sense. Yep, there's that tempo forward B. And, uh, Immaculate spacing on it. I like the. He, it felt like he flubbed. Is that a shield option on that down smash? Yeah. Like his first input, and then he went, oh, well, this is oh, to Oh, that's, that's, ah. Uh. You know, it's funny. Uh, just one thing I kind of noticed. Every, because I played like three Falcos from Texas and Braggit. Yeah. Every Texas Falco loves laser grab. Yeah. I'm, I'm noticing even Albert's going for it. Oh, that would have been big. Nice. Uh, the, yep. the, what I liked about that, he almost looked, because he did kind of a sloppy wave dash back, it almost looked like he realized at the very, like, he was getting ready to cover tech place, and at the last second, Albert was like, wait a minute, he might tech in. And he, like, did the, the jankiest yeah, dude, wave dash back, but yeah, it was dude, good enough. Breaking news, breaking news. Cut the camera, cut the camera. He's wave, <laughs> He's rolling in, he's rolling in. <laughs> and he goes, we just got word on the scene. Yeah, we're ju just. That was a dominating game, dude. That was about as good of a game you could ask for if you're Albert. So... I don't know. I mean, Lucky definitely has what it's like. He's like, when he's playing well, at least, you know, this is kind of one of his comfort matchups in a way. Yeah. So I really want to see what he's able to uh, kind of bring to the table here, like the adjustments he's going to make. That game, he kind of just kind of ran into moves. Yeah, comfort matchups are a double edged sword. You play someone who does things a bit differently and hit hard, it can throw you off. Yeah, for sure. you short circuit. Yeah. But Lucky has had plenty. He's had a lot of experience in tourney, doing well and choking. And honestly, yeah. I'm not insulting him. It's important to have experience doing both. Oh, yeah. Because you won't know what it's like to, to start choking until you've done it. Yep. And you've got to be able to pull yourself back from the brink. Like, 
Have you ever felt yourself about to make a mistake? Like in your hands, you knew you were going to screw up, and then somehow you yanked it back and yeah, did something good? Yeah, that's actually good? one of the best feelings. Yeah. When, you, when you, like, you're like, oh, wait a minute, and you do the good thing, or you, like, you just know you're going to, like, do, you know, fall into some option the opponent has or what have you, and you just space around it at the last moment. Yeah. It's a great feeling. And, and then right it, now, the same thing happens when you're, like, you can feel yourself about to throw away a game you're winning. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dude, I get that with Mars Dash Tech. <laughs> I swear, I'm like, I'm like, <coughs> I'm like, I think I'm spacing well, and he's gonna come in for a dash tag and it's gonna hit me, and, and I go extra back. I swear. And if you're right, you're like, I'm a god, I'm a god. Lucky's feeling, Lucky's feeling good right now, though. Yeah. He had really nice control, but that said, like, Falco low like that, if you're not already there to stuff it, when he does that little shine stall, he actually has tremendous control. Rising down air oh, yeah. hurts so many options that you want to use to stuff him. And if he's able to land, especially if you're at a percent where it juggles you, like, then suddenly you're dead. And you, you want Falco off the stage to be him losing. Right, right, right. Yeah, that whole sequence just made a lot of sense. Oof. Both players doing something that would keep them safe and alive. Except it obviously benefited Albert because then he got to be in the level. Yeah, that sometimes won't. it just ends up that way, and you've kind of thrown yourself into the corner. When did this end up even? Ah, Albert's kind of been blow, blow for blowing him. Oh, that was... Ah, okay, okay. Interesting. Kind of feel like Lucky had no business getting hit there. Probably, I think he could have gotten his shield up and just kind of slid to the ledge, but... Eh. Yeah, he wanted his counter hit. Right. He said, you whiffed forward smash, that's my punish. Falco's forward smash is always less laggy than it looks. It's like a rule of thumb. I hate that move. Do not, <laughs> do not get deceived. Oh, yeah. Yep. Oh, it's so... It's, it hurts to get hit by. Yeah, I actually I like the, uh, seeing that jab from Albert. Super low commitment. If it taps, it hits. Catches the jump. Oh, he's on him. The landing. So, uh, yeah, yeah, no, no. The, got uh, out. That's sick. Both these guys are making some pretty nice, like, low commitment decisions in the clutch. All right. He's got to make this really. Oh! Oh! oh lucky! Wave dash back, calling out that roll in. This is, is that it? Ah, uh, not great. The eye kind of crossed him up there. He went he went to the left of him and back at him. You, you know, you'd think. Yeah. In a game like Ultimate, where, like, you know, your D on your SDI doesn't affect you as much, right there, you always take the hit to send them left. You'd always, always, always do it because, like, it, it makes such a big difference whether or not they're near to the, the corner of the blast zone or not. In melee, your DI makes such a big deal that if you can cross up their DI, you yeah. would rather send them across the level if you know you're going to get the yeah, bad DI. I would that's rather exactly do, what Albert did. I'd rather get bad DI on you, even though you have to travel 20% farther, because you will travel 20% yeah. farther. Oh, and, and with some moves, it's like night and day, right? Like Sheik's forward air, knee. Like, oh, if oh, you yeah. DI a knee the wrong way, it, it Warp really factor DI. just doesn't matter at that point. Oh, yeah, you're gone. You're, you're in a whole other universe at that point. It's like stop motion where you're just like, here, you're over here now, halfway across the level of the next frame. You're just yep. gone. Oh, God, yeah. And this, I've played Albert on this stage before. He is very strong on this level. Yeah, like, wow, lucky took him to Yoshi's, huh? This can work. I think the, 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 the sort of more modern... Uh, Albert said, forget the modern matchup theory. I was going to say, Mango, I know Mango isn't like a... He goes here, like he doesn't mind it because he likes the level, yeah. but he acknowledges that Fox is kind of supposed to win here because you can never get away as Falcon. You never set up your set up your zone, you know? That's true. Uh, but looks like Albert doesn't need to. He's perfectly happy just fighting Lucky on Lucky's terms, up close and personal. Yeah, like Albert's microspacing has been on point as well uh, from when I played him, and if you're amazing at that, then you don't Ooh. need nearly as much room as most people think you do in order to space and play your game. But Lucky, well, he showed exactly what you meant. Like, got it. Ah, well, that sucks. And, and with that, this kind of becomes the throwaway game. <laughs> or not, we'll see. This yeah. stock means a lot. You can't get hit too much here. Uh, I went for the ginger nair, AKA the zoo nair, if we're being completely honest. We're going full historical accuracy. I was just thinking full historical accuracy. Yeah. Oh, lucky Sharkin. Mm -hmm. He's not. He's not trying to shove him off the stage and end it quickly. He wants to build like safe damage. Yeah. Uh, Albert, well, Albert, what are you, what are you gonna do? Stage is up there. Wally <laughs> <laughs> meant to double jump. I don't know. A See, lot of silly deaths that game. Yeah, dude. There's actually. If I'm Albert, I want to lose a game like that. Yeah. Yeah. Because 
because Lucky is going to sit there and he's going to go, did I really figure anything out or did you just fall off the level a couple times for no reason? Right. And now you're on a level where that's much less likely to happen. This is just the total opposite. Falco gets, he's got room. Yep. He's got this like Ooh. pseudo FD in the middle. Yoshi, or er, <laughs> Yoshi. Lucky double jumped into that. Ooh, getting a little weak kick. And I'm very shocked to see him not go for a downer. Any of those, you know, points. But uh, eh, whatever. Oh, he tried to try to get a little bit cute with it. He tried to wave land on the top platform. Get a potato, poop to snoop. <laughs> he really reflected that at that. Oh my god. Yeah. See, like despite some of the mistakes and the not like the not fully finishing his food, the fact that Albert just has so much level to run back to and control. The moment Lucky wants to push in, like take some ground back, Albert says, "Nah, I got a gun here. I got yep. a laser in place." Got an aerial and great read. There is a there is a distance that that Falco goes at. I I actually theorized that I kind of feel like foxes in general should go off stage to edge guard Falco more because unlike with in the Fox Ditto, sometimes Falco has to side beat, so you know it's not like with Fox where he can always up You know what I mean? Yeah. To make it back. So right there, that was just good awareness. Like if Albert, you know, even if he decided to be there, still would have gotten shine spike. So. A little surprised to see Albert burning all his resources for that aggressive double jump down here into the center of the stage, but Lucky, uh, well, he got tagged with it, managed to find another opening in the tussle right afterwards. He's got him <laughs> off stage and, oh, drops that lost control, and now he's stuck in the corner. CPU jabs. The level nine is strong with Albert. Oh, and that's a flub ledge dash. Yeah. Or stall, like, whatever. One or the other, le le probably Ledge Dash, but eh. Wow. Jeez, that worked out for him. It's nice that the game gave him some damage given that he missed, right? Yeah. Like right. that makes everyone feel better? Makes everyone feel better. Good. Okay. You know what's funny? If Lucky actually just did up throw up. Ah, he gets there. He did the kind of a slow wave dash to the ledge, but it didn't matter. Man. Lucky actually could have evened this up. When he went for the up throw back, or he could have done up throw up smash and would have KO'd. And it's little, little moments like that. By the way. Venue going absolutely bonkers oh, for hometown yeah, hero no, Albert. They're... Gonna see if Lucky can keep his composure. Gets off oh, the platform from the lasers, but he's in the corner. Dead air. Up air. Oh my back air. God. Back air. Three one. Albert over Lucky. That after was getting into winners' crazy. quarters, beating Hungry Box. Yeah. Of like of all the players, and Albert is in top six. Winners side top eight.